The Dow is just a few points and maybe a couple of tenths of a percent away from Dow 20,000 as of this writing. And that makes your next guest call look pretty good because back in 2010, he said investors needed to prepare for that milestone. Jeff Miller is president of Newark Investments, the author of uh, the Dash of Insight blog. Uh, Jeff, it was a good call back then, although you weren't saying we were definitely going to hit it, but you're saying get prepared, it's coming. Uh, what, what point were you trying to make six years ago? Uh, hi, Brian. Thanks for having me. What I was doing was I observed that everyone was so negative. And, of course, this is typical at all times. There's always a long list of well-known worries, but especially after the financial crisis. And so I said, look, there eventually these, these worries will be addressed and things will get better. And that's the attitude a long-term investor should take. So I listed uh, a number of the worries and things like, and then said, what if things got a little better? Like what if unemployment got down below 8% or Europe stabilized or the housing market found a bottom? Uh, it sounds like kind of an old list when you look back at it because quite a few of them did happen. But it was interesting, the people who follow me at uh, Seeking Alpha, the comments were very aggressive. Uh, most people said, Miller, yeah. you idiot. <laughs> well, listen, listen uh, you, were, you were a little bit ahead of me, and, and you're the investor. I'm not, but when I joined Z CNBC in early 2011, sort of launched this program I called Hopium. It's kind of like a fake word, but, you know, hope and optimism, and, and made some of those points, and there's, there's stuff out there. You're the investor, but I know the words you got called. <laughs> the, the point is, Jeff, yes. is <laughs> if, you if you dared be optimistic back then, pessimism was very in vogue. What do you think the biggest mistake that we made back then was with the way we looked at that era? Well, that's a great question. It's exactly what I wanted to talk about. I think I did two things that helped a lot. Uh, with an overview of the two things, I didn't go in with an opinion. I was looking for truth and trying to find the best experts to get there. So the first of the two things was I studied recessions because recessions are associated with um, most of the big market moves, the 40 or 50 percent down moves. And most people don't even understand what a recession is, but it's the time right after a business cycle peak. So I did a search starting on the blog and I found the best source for real-time recession forecasting over the last 40 years, Dr. Bob Dealey, who um, has worked for a long time in banks and now has his own consulting firm. And I saw he has great methods. And so I incorporated those methods into my analysis of recessions, and it helped me to stay the course when other people were being frightened out of the market. Uh, the second thing is valuation. I know that there are several popular valuation methods, and I know that you interview the people representing them frequently. I watch when you interview Dr. Schiller, for example, and I think you know from asking him that Dr. Schiller has never really said, oh, everyone get out of the market right now. In fact, uh, when you ask him, he himself has a healthy component of stocks and suggests that even, that especially young people should uh, own stocks. And yeah. the only method using CAPE that he really endorses is the Barclays Fund, which uses his method to choose which sector not whether to get in and out of the market. Well, you should um, probably always invest if you're young anyway, because if the market's not up in 40 years, then we probably have a global nuclear winter <laughs> or, some, or something like that. Uh, but yes. I, I get your point, Jeff. But um, final question would be this then. So, so this is six years later after you wrote that. What mm -hmm. do you see for the next six or 10 years? Well, I continue to use the same methods. And right now, I, I don't see any recession in the next year or so. I think another 10 or 20 percent uh, fairly quickly is quite possible. And then after that, it depends on whether we resume the normal pace of corporate earnings growth and whether we can dodge a recession. So I could see a couple of years out. But if you were to ask, will we double again, uh, it might be another 10 years before that yeah. would happen. Well, we're watching, and Jeff Miller, we appreciate you coming on the program. Thank you very much. It was a, it was a good, very good call, Prescient, back in 2010, Jeff. Thank you.
Folks, thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.